Hey everyone, so this week I've been playing ninths, um, that's what I've been focusing on in my practicing. Uh, there's a few ways that I, I do this, um, sometimes I'll pick a particular chord like uh, C9 and then I'll work through all of the various inversions of it. Uh, the other way I do it is to pick a scale, uh, and this is what I've been doing this week, so I've been picking C major as my, my scale and then working through all of the scale tones playing the ninths associated with it. So that would be C major ninth, then you'd build your ninth on the D note, and that would be D minor ninth, then E would be E minor seven flat nine, and then F would be F major ninth again, and, and on you go all the way up the scale. Uh, and the other thing I do when I work like this is I pick a particular fingering pattern. So I uh, basically, I'll, I'll pick a finger pattern. In this, in this case, it's uh, three notes per string, then one note per string, then three notes per string, then one, then three, which looks a bit like this. Um, and I find that pattern works really well if you've got five notes in an octave. You, you tend to be able to find a way of working that kind of finger pattern. Um, so it works against the pentatonic scale, which has got five notes uh, in an octave as well. Anyway, um, so that's the pattern I'm playing. Let me show you how I've got on. So that's it. Hopefully that was useful for you. Maybe next week I'll show you how I use these in an improvisation. So how I mix my uh, ninths together and, and mix them with uh, pentatonics and uh, major scales, minor scales and things like that. So I'll do an improvisation, try and stick some ninth arpeggios in there as well and show you how I got. Okay, see you next time.